Hello everyone, it's back tuning into the verification video for the Autumn 2020 forecast. So of course we issued our Autumn forecast very, very long time ago, uh, way back at the end of August. And um, uh, of course we are now into uh, the winter. I am very late verifying uh, the uh, Autumn forecast this year. It's been such a busy start to the winter with so much going on that I've got quite delayed. But um, we are going to sort of uh, verify uh, this uh, autumn forecast for you and uh, I shall get on with that for you uh, in a second and we'll see how uh, we do. It was a very, very low confidence forecast. Um, but, but anyway, we'll see, we'll see how we did and uh, I shall get on with that. Uh, very shortly. I uh, just say that coming up later on today, we're going to have a 10 to 14 day video update, including all of the regular features. And there could be live streaming uh, from 6 o'clock tonight. So uh, we're going to have the last live stream of the year. Uh, last uh, live stream of 2020. And uh, I shall see you there, uh, of course, hopefully. Uh, thank you so much to uh, Rich for the uh, Autumn 2020 forecast GIF. Um, yeah, uh, thanks so much, Rich, uh, for the gift. Right, okay, let's move over to uh, the Met Office then. So, uh, first thing we'll deal with is temp. So, the gas weather is autumn forecast. Uh, was very, very low confidence forecast, but we did predict that uh, autumn uh, 2020 was likely to be a little bit milder than average. We thought temperature is probably coming in around half a degree to one degree uh, above the um, the uh, the 81 to 2010 average. And uh, we also uh, thought that uh, precipitation wise be very close to average with like wetter and drier spells offsetting uh, one another. Rather changeable autumn um, with, with alternating sort of um, wet and dry periods. This is how the temperature normally comes out for the autumn of 2020 for the UK. Again, this is on the climate averages page at the UK Met Office. So you can see that for many places, it, it, many places was a little bit milder than average. Um, Western areas were close to average. That's where we've got these white um, uh, white chains here. Eastern and northern areas tended to be a little bit milder. So Scotland had a mild autumn generally. Much of eastern, central, southern, southeastern England had a slightly milder than average autumn with western areas coming out uh, near average. So on a, on a um, temperature side of it, I think the autumn forecast went quite well. The way it worked out was a little bit different to what we expected. So we thought that like September would be the month that had the uh, potential to be like the warmest month and November could be a little bit colder. Actually, it turned out that um, September and October were, were a little bit cooler and it was November, it was very mild. So so the way it worked out in terms of the monthly periods was was a little bit out. But but overall, the signal, you know, that we picked up on for uh, for a mild autumn, but not excessively so, not a, not a really warm autumn, only a little bit above average. Um, the way it worked out, uh, you know, uh, came came out quite well. So I'm quite pleased with like the temperature side of the autumn uh, forecast. Now precipitation wise, um, this is how it looked. So again, quite variable. We see that like northern and western Scotland and northern Ireland, uh, northern Scotland is drier than average. Western southwest Scotland is wetter than average. Northern Ireland is wetter than average. Northwest England is wetter than average. Northeast England is a bit drier than average. Um, then we get it uh, really quite dry through Wales into the Midlands and on into some eastern parts of England. Also the southwest has quite a dry autumn, but East Anglia and the southeast actually has a, little, has a little bit of a wetter autumn. So, I mean, the precipitation wise, it depends where you are, I think, in the country. Um, some places a little bit wetter than average, some, people, some places a little bit drier than average, some places very close to average. And I think, again, this sort of um, does tie in with the autumn forecast a little bit. The fact we've got so much regional sort of variability, I think, is indicating that it's a kind of autumn where wetter and, uh, and dry spells were alternating with one another. So it wasn't continuously dry, otherwise we would have all come out dry than average, but it wasn't continuously wet either. Otherwise, all areas would have come out wetter than average. So, actually, I think that the gas weather is auto forecast has, has ended up quite well. Uh, you know, it's done quite well, uh, really. We, we didn't get everything right, but then again, you never do 
uh, with a with a long range forecast. But I think on the broad sort of things of of like the auto being quite changeable, a uh, little bit milder than average, uh, not too far from average for precipitation with wet and dry spells alternating. I think overall on the big things of the autumn uh, forecast, we we did quite well. I'm quite pleased with how the autumn forecast came out. Um, really. So, so uh, you know, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'll put it as around a 7, I think. I think it did quite well. Uh, we did get some things wrong. Um, but, but overall, I think we got the broad things just about uh, right. We didn't give a prediction for sunshine, but let's just see how uh, sunshine uh, anomalies came out. So, uh, again, just very close to average, really, for many places with sunshine. A little bit duller than average, generally, in the north. Um, near a normal for sunshine uh, for England and Wales. You wouldn't say that was a particularly sunny autumn by any means. And probably more area areas are a little bit on the duller side, uh, actually, than... than um, you know, uh, than average or, or above average for sunshine. So that perhaps was quite a dull autumn, and particularly so up in the north, quite a cloudy autumn, um, perhaps. So, as I said, we didn't give a prediction uh, for for, um, for, 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 uh, for sunshine for the autumn. But I think overall it's not been a bad uh, forecast, really. I'm quite, I'm quite happy with how it came out. Um... Albeit, albeit we didn't get everything right and like the way it worked out in terms of the, the monthly periods with September actually being cooler, November being milder, which was a little bit different to what we expected. Um, you know, that, that wasn't correct. But I think the broad themes uh, broadly for the auto forecast were, were there or thereabouts were, were quite were quite good. So I'm pretty happy with how the autumn forecast came out. And of course, now that really does close the door on autumn 2020, uh, of course. Definitely your autumn to forget. I don't think will you know remember autumn 2020 all that much except maybe if we are going to have a really cold uh, spell during this winter of course the storyline for that will begin in the autumn so i suppose autumn 2020 might have its place in in the memory as being like the season that precedes a, a cold winter maybe if we are going to have a cold winter we don't know this winter will be a cold and average winter yet but but that certainly appears to be the way we, we um going uh with uh with this winter so i suppose from that perspective we might remember autumn 2020 but otherwise i don't think it's going to be a particularly memorable autumn i think it will be uh one that uh, very quickly sort of fades away in the memory Memory, uh, with uh, with not all that much um, going on, uh, really. Uh, but that's it. That closes the door on autumn 2020. Now, of course, we're well into the winter. So when we get to the beginning of March, I will try to do it, do it a little bit earlier than I've done this autumn verification. When we get to the beginning of March, we will verify uh, the winter forecast and we'll see how that went. At the moment, I think it's going reasonably well. We, we, we're certainly um, inching towards the colder side uh, of things with this winter at the moment. And, uh, and we did say about sort of blocking locking in around the new year um potentially so so but anyway more about that when we get to get to march and we'll verify the uh, autumn of the winter forecast but for this autumn 2020 verification that is all for now and uh, thank you so much uh for watching i hope you enjoyed the season of autumn updates by the way spring updates are going to begin in a week or so's time uh, once we get into uh january that's it then. Uh, so I'll be back later on your 10 to 14 day out and then we'll be live streaming uh, from 6 o'clock tonight, our last live stream of the year. So uh, I shall see you there uh, for this one though. That's all for now and thanks for watching.